Hello everybody, once again, as you know, we are working on the next few country episodes, so while that happens, we gotta give you another filler week. Now usually we do an administrative division videos like we did India, Russia, Brazil, but this week something important happened. For those of you that kind of follow up with international news, some of you might know that the New Caledonia Independence Referendum will be happening on November 4th. What exactly does this mean, and will New Caledonia become a new nation or stay with France? And I'm super excited because one of you guys, the subscribers, is from New Caledonia, we'll talk to him soon. But a little backstory. We talked about this in the France episode, but basically New Caledonia is an island archipelago area in the sub-region of Melanesia of Oceania. Currently it is under a sui generis or special collectivity status with France. This means they can kind of still govern themselves, but France still steps in when it comes to things like foreign policy, currency, police, military, stuff like that. And it is kind of true that a lot of their economic dependence lies on France as of today. When it comes to their GDP, about a fifth of it actually comes from France. French aid, which equals to about $1.5 billion. However, it's not that simple. They do also have about 25% of the world's nickel reserves. And there are fears that if they were to become independent, they would kind of fall under the overarching China's hegemony expansion that's kind of already happened to Vanuatu. They built a wharf for warships. But what it basically comes down to are the indigenous kayak people. All right, so this is the part where you're gonna meet New Caledonian geography, Kenji. All right, so hey, Kenji, how you doing? I'm good, Paul, how are you? Good, good, yeah. Uh, would you like to just introduce yourself? Um, so my name is Kenji, I'm 27 years old, and I'm from New Caledonia. Okay, first of all, is that your house? Uh, what is that thing you're in right now? No. Oh, no, so <laughs> this is not my house, this is uh, like a um, traditional Polynesian or Melanesian kind of house. We mm. call it a fari. Nice, nice, looks really cool. Um, okay, so let's just jump into it, okay? So the independence movement, how exactly did it start and what exactly is it all about? Can you explain? So, um, you know, when the French came to New Caledonia, uh, there were actually people living in New Caledonia, the Kanak people. They have their own, um, like, system of culture, their own society, languages, and so on. So uh, I think it really started when uh, the leader Jean-Marie Thibault um, said that he's had enough of it, you know. And so here we are now um, deciding whether we want to become independent or remain French. What are the viewpoints of both sides of this whole thing that's going on in the vote? Well, um, the people who are against independence uh, think that uh, without France, we could lose a lot of advantages that we have um, because France gives a lot of money to us. Um, they provide uh, health care, uh, the military, uh, they create jobs and stuff like this. And also uh, a lot of people identify as French. And also a big uh, thing is that uh, being a French citizen is, a, I mean, a good thing. If I can say so on the international level, you can travel, you can study in the European Union yeah, and passports, and stuff yeah. like this. Now, yeah. The people who are uh, in favor of the independence, um, they are mainly the Kanak people. They just consider that they have a right of uh, deciding for themselves. So they want their own nation. They want uh, to um, their culture to be acknowledged. I think that uh, in today's society, they still face um, prejudice and marginalization. That's why they want to become independent, because they want to govern themselves. And they don't see why a country like France that's so far away uh, should decide for them. Yeah, I mean, it's like there's so many socioeconomic factors that play into this. But then again, it always kind of keeps going back to the Canuck people. Uh, my question is, in what do you think a fully independent New Caledonia would look like? Um, well, the truth is we don't really know because um, we know that the French Prime Minister, uh, Edouard Philippe, he said that whatever the results are, France is going to um, help New Caledonia transition, you know? So um, everything that comes after the 4th of November will have to be negotiated. For example, if we talk about the currency, uh, the currency that we have now is the Pacific franc. This currency is, um, it has a fixed rate with the euro. Oh, that's the currency that's shared with uh, French Polynesia, Tahiti, right? Tahiti. Yes, in French Polynesia and in Wallis and Futuna. Oh yeah, Wallis and Futuna. Yeah, everybody forgets them. Yeah, yeah. people always forget about them, but they exist. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty small, yeah. yeah. So after that, if you want to have a new currency, we'll have to negotiate with the European Union, actually, to decide if it's still possible. Our own military, because we don't know if France will still stay here to uh, protect us you know we we don't really know so that's one reason why people are a bit uh, afraid of it of the independence because it's a big thing that we don't know and we'll probably have to uh 
apply for the UN membership. Yeah. So, Kenji, I guess, I mean, just any final thoughts, any last words you just really think the whole world should know about this whole situation going on with New Caledonia? Um, I think that the world should know that uh, we've lived uh, relatively peacefully for 30 years after the civil war. So I think that it should uh, stay the same. We should uh, still live together in peace, whether it's uh, with friends or without friends. So, yeah, I want everyone to know that we've made We've made huge uh, efforts to live together. Come on, it's not that hard. Just respect everyone and everyone will respect you. That's that's a big thing here. We share common values and, and we should be able to live together. I like that. I like yeah. that. Um, yeah, I also have just one little final last extra question. What are some things about New Caledonia that you kind of want to just teach people about? Like a lot of people don't know much about New Caledonia. What are some cool things about New Caledonia that you want the world to know? Yeah, um, we have a rug that kind of look like a, a chicken. <laughs> a chicken? Yeah, yeah, the chicken of Yangen, la poule de Yangen. Um, another cool thing that we have uh, would be the language we speak. The French we speak is a bit different than mm. the one spoken in France. Uh, give, give some examples. Like, how are how is your French different from like metropolitan France French? Uh, uh, like the way we say goodbye, for instance. Or in France, they would say uh, au revoir or salut. And we just say tata. Tada. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I mean, ulti- I'm not New Caledonian, so I don't really have too much of a strong say in this whole thing. But I am glad that you watch the show from New Caledonia and that you are one of the geography peeps and that you're able to be in this episode. It's it's honestly like an honor to meet you because uh, there's not too many people me. from New Caledonia. So yeah, thank you, Kenji, for taking part in this whole video. That's thank really you very cool. much, Paul. So yeah, guys, you heard it from a New Caledonian geography peep. There's a lot of stuff going on and a lot of factors that go into this whole mix, but I guess uh, I guess we'll see what happens in New Caledonia. Thanks for watching. Stay cool. Stay tuned.